let's have a look at the Prime Scan. What do I really love about the Prime Scan? Well, it's aesthetically pleasing. It looks the part. It's hygienic. It's a medically approved device and it's easy to clean in between patients. It's ergonomic, so I can move from one surgery to the next without any problems at all. The trackpad and the screen, it's easy to use, it's intuitive, the interface looks stunning. Another feature that I love of the Prime Scan is the fact that it has a battery pack and it runs for three to four hours. It can also be charged via the mains. At the back, we have the mains with a cable tidy and it's plugged in with an isolator switch at the bottom. The Prime Scan has a traffic light power system. When it's attached to the mains, the light is green. When it's switched on in battery pack, the light is orange. If you ever see the red light, there's a technical error and you need technical support. Let's start the Prime Scan. Press and hold the button and it will start to boot up. This is the desktop. We have the software programs on the desktop and we can use the trackpad or the touch screen to activate any of the software programs. The Prime Scan camera has an ergonomic design and handling is important. To remove the camera, we place our hand underneath the camera with our thumb on top to support it and we lift up and then to hold it we hold it like a pen grip. Just a word of warning please don't hold the camera at the top only. The Prime Scan camera is provided with a standard head. You have the option for two other heads. One is disposable and autoclavable. The disinfection protocol is very simple and easy. There are three elements that need to be disinfected in between patients. The touch screen, the trackpad and the camera. To lock the touch screen to allow you to wipe down, you'll press both mouth buttons and hold until the device is locked. You can then continue to wipe and then you use the foot switch to deactivate.